Welcome to the Audio Codes Training Academy. This video tutorial shows you how to retrieve exception reports from media and media pack devices. These exception reports are typically requested by Audio Code Support to assist in troubleshooting activities. Once you have logged into the media or media pack, navigate to the Field Application Engineer or FAE webpage by adding forward slash and in capital letters FAE to the end of the website's URL address. Once the FAA web page appears, select the Get Debug File link from the menu. The debug file is a core dump of the memory image at the time of crash. It provides a powerful tool for determining the root cause of the crash. This file will only be created if the Enable Core Dump parameter was set before the event occurred. Save this file to your PC. To see if the parameter Enable Core Dump was enabled, and to configure it if it's not, Ensure that the Advanced Radio button is selected on the navigation tree, then navigate to the Maintenance tab. Then open the Maintenance folder, and finally the Debug Utilities web page. Enable the parameter, and set a TFTP server IP address if required. If the TFTP server IP address is defined, the Mediant will send a TAR file to the server on the core failure. Be sure to click the Submit to activate the parameters. Notice that there is a Save Debug File button here that can be used to save the same debug file found using the Get Debug File link from the FAE web page. Remember to attach this report to an email or to an iSupport ticket for Audio Code's support to review. Back on the FAE web page, you'll also need to collect the exception data which is accessible from the command shell. Click on the command shell from the menu and click the enter button next to the command line at the bottom of the web page. A list of directories and commands will appear in the main window. Enter the BSP directory by typing BSP in the command line. Next, enter the exception subdirectory by typing EXP. There are two tools here, syslog before exception and exception info. Both need to be executed. Enter SBE to dump the syslog contents to the screen. If more appears on the screen, just click to enter again. Next, enter EI to dump the exception info to the screen. Only the capital letters in the directory name or commands are required to access or run them. This data will need to be saved and sent to support for analysis. This will be shown later. Accessing the exception info in a media pack is similar to the media. Just add FAE to the website URL. If the media or media pack does not have a debug file captured or it has not been enabled, a pop-up will appear that indicates the core dump file does not exist. On a media pack, there is no debug utilities web page under the maintenance folder as the medians have. The parameters are still available but must be enabled via the admin page. To access the admin page, enter forward slash and the case sensitive admin page to the end of the website's URL. While at the admin page, select INI parameters from the menu. Next, enter the parameter name, enable core dump, and click apply new value. This returns the current parameter value. To change this, simply enter a 1 in the enter value field, which enables core dump. If the core dump file needs to be sent to the TFTP server, type core dump dest IP for the parameter name and remove the value in the enter value field. Click apply new value again to see the current server's IP address. Enter a new one as needed and click apply new value. Click the back to main link and be sure to burn this parameter change to flash memory. As with the median, ensure you dump the contents of the BSP exception subdirectory from command shell using tools, print history, and exception info. Note that a scroll bar has appeared on the web page as it had for the median data. That data is buffered on the web page so that it can be copied and pasted to Notepad. Ensure that this data is saved to your PC and uploaded to your iSupport ticket. We hope you have found this video useful. If you need more information, you can download our documents from www.audiocards.com library.